Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. What the hell's going on? You are in deep trouble, my young friend. recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. What's new, pussycats? How you doing? Uh, back again with the council. I know I've been slacking off terribly. Uh, they've released the next two parts of this series already. Uh, so let's get to it. I think I'll go with this one. Okay, I can't remember whether I spoke to him at the end of the last episode, well, so we'll just do it again. Do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes. I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first <laughs> invitation to Lord It's not Mortimer's. his first rodeo. You will see. It's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> And you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <laughs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. Must be. I should think you are beginning to worry. Yes. Well, I, I must admit, your eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand. But continue to have faith in Sarah. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days we'll all be laughing together. <laughs> That's all I hope for, Your Eminence. Mm -hmm. But while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for I'm you? I'm looking for a Medusa. If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later. Your minutes. See you later, <laughs> He does put on a good spread. Okay, that's just making me hungry. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, nice plates. <laughs> I'm so easily distracted. Okay. The lock is surrounded by a circle. circle. Did I have that key? I've used the key. I can't unlock. Piaggi isn't really, he's too interested in his food over there. No space left. I'll retrieve okay. it later. Alrighty. Uh, anything in this? Crystals. Nice. Cool. Okay. I should probably have some of those. But not too much because apparently I can be intoxicated. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've 
feel like Belle from Beauty and the Beast all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, is he available for me to marry him for his library? Holy crap, it goes all the way down. <laughs> Shrek, I'm looking down. Okay, what else have we got? Any books? I'm seeing glowy. Atreus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading so it. So read it. <laughs> really, that's the book that stood out to you? Why is she forbidding you from reading? It's a little Nazi-ish, isn't it? Royal jelly. Gosh. Anything else? I'm just trying to not miss any clues. Oh, I'm saying sparkling. Anything? A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Ooh. Edumacation. <laughs> okay. Wow. How is this guy so wealthy? What is it that he does exactly? <laughs> Yikes. Where all eyes size you up. Mm -hmm. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should we go and try to find the creature now? Well, yes. Time's a waste. What is this over here? Hmm. I'm guessing that's just there so I can sit down if I want. Is there a... Ah, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not here to have a rest and stare at paintings. Okay, I can take that. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Mm -hmm. This place is huge. Okay, that one has a node on it. What does that say? Closer. Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Good oi. <laughs> ah, can I steal pages from Son an encyclopedia? Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel <laughs> anything. That's true. Amber crystals. Okay. I feel like I've only seen one or two servants. Who is cleaning this place? <laughs> My gosh. Okay, what's over here? Ah, okay. I think... Oh, there's Medusa. Hello. Oh, she has sad eyes. Find out what mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Okay, so I've got to rotate the statues so that they're all facing each other in a particular order. The origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left-hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, 
the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Huh. Okay. So somebody is distracting her while the sword guy should be facing her. This is what I've come up with. <laughs> okay. Uh, handle the mechanism, think about the configuration. Let's think. To vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. What can this shield be for? To protect its holder? Why not? But in that case, what's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical, but open-minded. Think outside the box. It would the reflect box. the lantern. Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect mm -hmm. the holder and also reflect the light from the lantern to distract the beast. In other words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. If Mortimer is the one who thought of all this stuff, then honestly, he must have a screw loose. Crazy idea. Not really. Worth a it's shot. Quite a clever configuration, really. Okay, towards the lantern. Yeah, towards the that guy, because it's got to be sort of halfway between the Medusa and this guy. So he would have to be facing. Consider the value of the lantern. I guess I'll do that. When I see the lantern and the shield, I can't help thinking back to my childhood. Mr. Dorfer, our teacher. As soon as the sun came out, I got a kick out of distracting him with the inkwell by deflecting the light with it. <laughs> I'd turn it in such a way as to direct a spot of light onto his face. Not strong enough to dazzle him, but just enough to annoy him. Hey! What if I tried to annoy the Medusa with the lamp on the shield? Position it just right, and it might work. Alrighty, rotate that. So we want that towards the shield. Okay. And this guy should be facing Medusa. Is she facing? Rotate towards the shield. Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. Where is that coming from? Oh, okay. The fireplace, of course. Whoa. Place like this has to have hidden passages and stuff. That's very cool. I'm guessing that's Lord Mortimer, that picture. Wah! For Pete's sake, Emily! You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. First my room, now here. Stop following me, you'll be coming oh, in new Wait a minute, are you... You're not implying that I'm here to court you. Are you? Oh, Louis, I'm just stating the obvious. You wouldn't be the first, rest assured. <laughs> yeah, this is embarrassing. <laughs> okay. The worst thing is that it seems to be working. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Answer her frankly, answer with a question. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. <laughs> and Let you're not? Me guess. Go on then, impress me. I imagine she's looking for someone too, whatever, make a joke. She has to investigate more tomorrow. Hmm. You're looking for somebody. Hmm. Your silence speaks volumes. I must have got it right. And you will go to great lengths to find them. So, this person means a lot to you. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. 
Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. <laughs> Miss Bossy Boots? Okay. Seven symbols. The heavenly symbols refer to Pandora's box. Emily, I'm pretty sure I've got Pandora's box. I am intoxicated. Of course you have. You see an earthen pot and you immediately assume it can only be Pandora's box. Logical. What I like about you, Louis, is that you never fail to surprise me. Open the jar, don't examine. Uh. Emily, what if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? Try. It'll make a change. <laughs> all right, can we move on now? I do love your irony, but honestly, are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No, you really do need to do better than that. So, I didn't actually read what the... Fearless, okay. Effects of intoxication were... A golden fleece. It's freezing, hurry up. <laughs> I'll put some clothes on. <laughs> I've got things to do. Uh, do you think it's a golden place? Uh, advise her to use the hide. Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? No, you are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth, aren't you? But Mortimer's been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Certainly of historical value. This kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Louis, anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide, and say it's the Golden Fleece. We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard <laughs> fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about an unlikely pair. Yet, you know opposites attract, don't you? Okay, uh... What's this? Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Hmm. So Mortimer could have been part of getting him all this stuff? An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. What a bragger. Has she read them? Analyze. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly not. <laughs> Never entered my mind. Alright, well, I think I'll stop. This is Thursday. Dilly dallying. Hmm. You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. Uh, assess the weapon. This weapon is typically French, quite old, undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. If it is a true Damask sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. King Arthur, say nothing. Mm, we'll just move on. I'm already intoxicated, so... Oh well. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand <laughs> of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Assume of theft, falsification, yeah. Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, 
But do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. <laughs> Their eyes we'll are focused on the wrong her. points. He looks like he's and talking to her hair, and she looks like he, she's talking to his chest. <laughs> My eyes are up. Uh, what do you think of this collection? Why conceal assets? Why keep such a collection hidden mm. in a secret room? Any thoughts? Mortimer has every reason in the world to conceal it, even if only to keep it from people like us. Hey, Emily, we're not thieves. We're only looking. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. Hmm. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunge for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. I can't trust a man who sneaks into my room in the middle of the night. Are you really going to use that against me every time we meet? It's difficult to pretend nothing happened. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? I already did so once because I trust you, haha. <laughs> no, I don't. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! <laughs> And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Hmm. Analyze her character. Hmm. Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Press her. She already has a partner. She takes orders from someone. Yes, it's perfectly clear. You're already working with someone. Ah, well spotted, Louis. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler, so your well, partner is... Well, she doesn't is... trust men, so I'm going to go with a woman. My mother is too obvious. Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good, I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh, now I get why you said you had a memory mm. for two. Yes, you can't imagine to what extent though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day we decided to play along. 
Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's mm. strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. So, think of our first adventure. I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. She's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good I'm time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Okay, so... I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but... If I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What so I do? there are a couple of alternate endings to this. Uh, okay, well first of all... Hmm... I will go with Elizabeth. Sorry Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. Alright Elizabeth, how can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the clifftop and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Okay. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night? While she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you, it was her. Okay, whoop, whoop, whoop. Wrong one. Ah, whoops. <laughs> Did you hey. talk to each other? I was no, she was far away. <laughs> I, I was waiting I didn't for it to continue. I wasn't paying attention. Have you Daddy. told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Okay, calm down. It's okay. Yes, I need something to calm me down. Uh... No thanks, I, I'd better not. Listen, if you want me to tell you everything, you have to drink with me, mm. Louie. What I have to say to you is of the utmost importance. Mm. Ah, well, if I refuse again, I just don't trust her. Okay, just one glass. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? Mm. I don't, I mean, she has it in for my mother. You're trying to poison me, right? I don't 
don't know where she gets her rock cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa. Okay. Alcohol's gone that to my was a head. bad idea. <laughs> no, 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 no more. Here, the condemns last drink. Elizabeth, alcohol never solves anything. I'm gonna stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, mm. right? You want to know the reason why? Well, you're gonna have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louis. Either drink or I get out. I be getting out. <laughs> no, I won't drink. All right, Louis. Then get the hell out of here. You're incapable of opening your eyes, so be it. <laughs> Get out! Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to exactly trust somebody that has it in for my mother so badly. She probably wants to kill me. <laughs> Why the hell did I go with Elizabeth? Mm-hmm. Hoping to find out information. I could have spent the night with Emily, but no. I had to go play the night with a big heart. Oh well, never mind. Tomorrow's another day. for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. What the hell's going on? You are in deep trouble, my young friend. Okay, so for the next part, we will go with Emily. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now, otherwise it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Excuse me, Elizabeth, but some very urgent business has cropped up. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone! They've so, come back! It seems Good no night, matter Adam. what choice you make with Emily, whether you choose to fool around with Emily or to not fool around with Emily, you get the same ending. Well, well, Louis, with you this took part, your basically. sweet time. What did our poor Elizabeth want? She probably wanted to chat more about my mother. Really? So Miss Adams is somehow linked to your mother? In a way, I guess she is. But... I thought all of that could wait until tomorrow. That young girl seems very... Emily? Have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead. Ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. I know your mother was here to meet someone, but I can't figure out who. Oh. So that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris, in connection with Mr. Von Borchert. You managed to steal something from him, if I'm not mistaken. Are you talking about the Book of All Mysteries? al Azif? That's right, Louis. A valuable bit of plunder, isn't it? Yeah. When we finally found it, we took it. And where is the book right now? Amazingly, it's right here. Mother took it with her when she came. This is quite fascinating. 
but just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? It's fairly obvious that you're still trying to extract information from me, Emily. Not at all, my friend. You obviously have a dark view of humanity. One can't chat about anything without you seeing some evil plot. Whoa, whoa, don't get your panties all in a bunch. Okay, fine. My mother thought she might find the buyer of Von Burchard's book here. I think she thought he'd be one of the people here on the island right now. Ah, oh, I see. Right, enough chatting. Come and join me instead. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, rested and ready. Sure thing. Monsieur de Richet, at last we meet. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now, otherwise it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth, how can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night? While she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. She doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I... I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening! The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here! I'm telling you, it was her! Yes, I need something to calm me down. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? I don't know where she gets her rot cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. 
Whoa, the alcohol's <laughs> gone to my head. Here, the condemned's last drink. Man, I, I need to take it easy with the booze. At this rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. Ugh, the second one isn't any easier. So, do you want to know why she did all those things to me or not? Even if it changes the image you have of her forever? What was she trying to cure you of then? Of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. Come on, Elizabeth. We have to finish what we started. I feel all dizzy. There must have been a reason. Just tell me. Tell me what my mother treated you for. She wanted to silence them. What? What are you talking about? Silence what? The voices. The voices in my head. They speak to me, Louis. They've always told me what to do. They say nasty things to me. Elizabeth, are, are you saying that, that spirits talk to you? You're right. Sometimes there are several voices. How did you know? No, listen, I, I don't know anything. I, I'm just repeating what you said. They want me. Want me just for themselves. They talk to me all the time. Yet your mother did everything to make them go away. Ever since I was little. And look at the result! It's impossible, Mother. You spent your life trying to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. Why punish this poor girl? Oh, shit. What has she done to you? Uh-oh, Louis. Are you starting to believe me? No, but she... Too bad it's all been for nothing. They're still there, you know. What do you mean? They're still talking to you? All the time. Despite everything Sarah put me through, I still hear them. And here I am on a lost island, knowing that no one knows me. And I find myself here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. I'm going to die here. I beg you, tell me you believe me! I'm here, Elizabeth. I'm right here with you. And I do believe you. Thank you, Louis. You know, despite what people might think, I'm not crazy. My god, Elizabeth, how is this possible? Welcome to my world, little Louie. Welcome to my life. Elizabeth, the whole story stinks of death. If I were you, I'd have left the moment you heard me speak about my mother. I don't know if she knows you're here, but if I had any doubt, I wouldn't take the risk. Yeah, you're right. I can't stay here another minute. I need to get the hell out of here. I need to find a boat and get away. I'm not dying here. Oh, I feel so dizzy. You like my little concoction, don't you? That's rare. What? It no longer has any effect on me. But my guests generally don't appreciate me mixing alcohol with laudanum. What? You put laudanum in my drink? In both. Don't worry, my little Louie. We'll sink down to the bottom together. Oh, man. I feel like puking. I really feel like shit. Uh, I gotta get back. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. I'll take good care of you. And then I'll leave. Don't touch me! Just leave. If I get up, I'll fall. Oh, little Louie's tired. 
Leave everything to me. Okay guys, I think we'll leave it there for today. Aww. Don't worry, I'll be back again soon. My subscribe button gets a bit sad, so please consider giving it a bit of a tickle and cheer it up. If you'd like to follow me on social media, my links are in the description below. And thanks again for watching, guys. Be kind to yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens and your galoshes. And don't forget to write, bye now.